Hello everyone and welcome in this new video tutorial about the multiplayer combat editor. In this video we are going to see how to implement the skill manager in one of your actor. So we are going to open up our content browser and we are going to go to our third person blueprint folder, open up our third person character and then we are going to add a new component which is a skill manager. Like this. We're going to click that, then we're going to right click it, add on ready dispatcher and add on initialization dispatcher like this. Then we're going to add to, to open our class settings tab and add a new interface, which is a blueprint interface skill like this. And it's creating a new function to implement. So we're going to double click that. We're going to drag and drop our skill manager in here and we're going to connect it with the return value of our function like this and then we're going to hit compile hit save go back to our event graph and we're going to drag and drop our skill manager into our event graph drag a wire out of it and type in setup and we have a bunch of function we need to call so we have to or can we need or can call so we need to call setup references like this so that that function is actually going to tell the skill manager to give the skill manager a few references uh, a lot of games need to properly function for instance we need the camera to properly know where is the player looking at and we need we need to know what skeletal mesh uh, the 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 owner of the skill manager is using to know where we need to play animations. So we want to tell him what camera by drag and drop him, drag and dropping our follow camera component. So we're going to drag and drop that into our user camera pin. And we're going to do the same for our inherited mesh like this. So we're going to drag a wire out of our skill manager and we're going to type in setup and we actually have a bunch of other functions but we just need to call learn new skills. The other functions we do not need to call them and I will remove them from that list. I think these are feature function rather than setup functions. So we're just going to call learn new skill like this. And it's going to bring up a node that uh, that's asking us asking us what type of skill it is supposed to add to that actor and in what slot. The slot is the number of skills. So imagine if you have a MOBA with four skills, the slot the slot zero is the first one in the list, the, the slot one is the second one in the list, etc. If you specify minus one, it's just going to add the skill at whatever position it can. If you have remaining skills, if you have remaining slots in that skill list, but the skill list is going to be outside of the scope of that tutorial. So we need to tell him what skill we want to add and we will add a skill named generic projectile and it's not finding it because it the, the editor did not load it. So we're going to go to our content brother. We're going to go to our content folder, search for generic. And we have a PFB generic projectile, which we're going to click on. Then we're going to go back to our third person character. And we're going to click on the little arrow there, which is going to tell the editor to use the assets we selected in our content brother and fill it and fill the value with it. So it's also loaded the skill. So if we type in generic now it's giving it's 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 giving us the result we expected. So we are actually adding a skill to our character which is a generic projectile. If we hit compile, hit save uh, we now have a new skill, but we cannot be sure. So we're going to drag our skill manager and we, we're going to type in add spawn skill overlay like this. And we're on, we, we are only going to create that skill overlay for the owning client of that character. 
So we are going to bring a branch and we are going to say, are you locally controlled? If yes, you are going to spawn the overlay. This is going to only create the overlay uh, on the owning client. So it's asking for what controller should be displaying that overlay. The controller is the get player controller. You can only display add on the controller of the owning client because the other machines doesn't don't know about the screen of the other machines it's and it's asking for an overlay to create we're going to click that and we're going to say that we want the example skill overlay i created uh to we want to display that overlay uh, customizing that overlay will be another video tutorial and then we're going to hit compile hit play and we can see we have a new a new overlay which which spawned with a fireball that's the skill we added to our character and but we cannot use it so we're just going to make sure we can use it quickly so we we're going back to our third person character and we're going to right click and type in left mouse button and then we're, we are going to grab our skill manager, drag a wire out of it, and type in use skill. It's giving us start skill. We want to start skill. What skill do we want to start? The zero is the first skill we have. Since we only have one, that's the skill which is in the slot zero. And that's the skill we want to use. And we also wants to stop it when we release our button. So we are going to drag a wire out of our skill manager and we're going to type it to type in stop. And we're going to stop skill when we release our input like this. And we're going to hit compile, hit save, hit play. And then it's not working. Well, actually it's working, but our projectile in, is not visible and that's a little bug when you import uh, the examples. I'm not sure what, why that bug is happening, but we're going to correct, it, correct it, it right away. So let's go to our dispatch on initialization skill manager. Let's click the glass, browse. Let's open that generic projectile. Then let's go so this is the first time you see if you, if is the if this is the first time you see the skill editor which might be the case since you're importing since you're viewing the video to import the skill manager just follow me and don't get lost so go to your spawn projectile so in the generic projectile blueprint search for that node spawn projectile and in here you have a main FX uh, drop down menu. In there, select Fireball and click the first one you see. Then hit Compile, hit Save, hit Play. And then you have a, fire, a Fireball. So that's how you implement the skill manager and that's how you make sure it actually works. So hope you guys enjoy that video and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.